Straight lines, exercise number 10.1 and problem 6. The problem says, without using Pythagoras theorem, show that the points 4, 4, 3, 5 and minus 1, 1 are the vertices of an rectangle triangle. Before doing this problem, let us take a look at these points. We know that the slope of a line joining the points x1, y1, x2, y2 is given by y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. It is, if we have a straight line, which is the join of x1, y1 and x2, y2. Now what is the slope of this line? Slope is given by the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. This we have already known and in fact we are making use of this point to solve this problem. The second point to be noted is that if two lines are perpendicular, you know that in a right angle triangle two lines will be perpendicular. If two lines are perpendicular to each other, then the product of slopes is equal to minus 1. This is a line with slope m1. This is the perpendicular line with slope m2. Then m1 into m2, that is product of slopes, is equal to minus 1. So both these points are used to solve this problem. Now let's begin with that. Now first let's mark down the isosceles triangle, uh, right angle triangle. It's known as right angle triangle. And let's name the right angle triangle as ABC. And take the points A as say 4, 4. B as the point 3,5 and C as the point minus 1, minus 1. Without using Pythagoras theorem, now Pythagoras theorem is BC squared is equal to AC squared plus AD squared. You can also do by using this test formula. But it has been clearly asked without using Pythagoras theorem. We have proved that. This is a right angle triangle. So these are the two points that we are going to make use to do this problem. Okay. Now, I want to prove that AB is perpendicular to AC. So I will consider the slope of AB. Slope of AB. Let's call it as M1. Let M1 denote the slope of AB. And slope is given by the formula y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. I regard the point this as x1, y1 and B as x2, y2. So now slope is written as 5 minus 4 divided by 3 minus 4 that is 1 upon minus 1 that is equal to minus 1. Consider slope of AC. Let's call it as M2. Let M2 denote the slope of AC. So now you can regard this as x1, y1 and this point as x2, y2. So the slope formula is y2 minus y1, that is minus 1 minus 4 divided by x2 minus x1, minus 1 minus 4, that is minus 5 over minus 5, which is equal to plus 1. So we got slope of m1 and we got slope of m2. Now let's check the product of these slopes. Consider m1 into m2 m1 is minus 1 m2 is 1 clearly it is equal to minus 1 so this implies that AB is perpendicular to AC therefore triangle ABC is a right angle triangle here we have not used Pythagoras theorem or distance formula using the concept of slope. We have shown that these three vertices form a right angle triangle. 